Well, I'm walking up a road here to a dump. It's easier for me to park in a parking lot down there. No place to park up here really, it's good. So I'll get back when I get up there. There's some pretty good fossil hunting to do too on these cuts like this in this area. You can get into real good plant fossils and this stuff down here breaking it open. Maybe do some videos like that. Well, in a video I uploaded yesterday, I was digging right in there. I, after I got done digging, I walked over here and looked around found a baby doll head. And then I said, look, there's an animalware over here, but I didn't walk and look at all the trash. I think that's an embalming fluid there. Look in here. This is just on the surface. I see a blue bottle down there. There's a broken salt glazed crock. There's a mason jar. Now look at this. There's a pretty good bottle in here. I've only found half dozen of these ever. It's worth at least 30 bucks if it's whole. You see it? See it now? It's an Art Deco Seda that's unique. And it'll say Sistersville or like Pennsboro. Um, I think maybe there's Moundsville ones. I think I might have found broken ones. See if this is whole, it's right here. It looks good. It is. And it's Coca-Cola bottling, Pennsboro, West Virginia. That's a gem. And being Pennsboro, I see that one is the smallest town and probably the most scarce of them. Um, I'd say this in the antique store in Marietta, some of those 30 bucks you could get out of that. That's a nice bottle. Let's hope it's not cracked. It's from the 1930s. Well, that looks a lot better cleaned up, man. It's just a beautiful bottle. You can see, you know, after I get it cleaned up and look at it, you can see why they wanted thirty-eight fifty for that in an antique store in Marietta. See what's that say? Minimum content, seven fluid ounces. Well, I'm going to have to look around more walking around. See, there, this is right where I dug, and see there's a little... That's got an embossed cap on it, probably an old aspirin from the 40s. I still haven't taken that Vaughn's ACO from yesterday. I will today. But this is where I was digging, and the ground's so dry, see? You just see everything. There's a little wheel to a toy car, a rubber one, a tire. I should probably take that and put it in parts box. I'll get back. I figure I'll find some stuff. I'm looking for marbles, but it's hard to tell what I'll find. Well, this is all the farther I went. I didn't get that rock out yesterday. I said I was going to. I'm working on it now, getting it out, raking around. Knew what that is. That's a good jar. You know, in an antique store cleaned up, you could find a new cap for it easily in the grocery store on some product. It's a Donald Duck jar. Oh, it's broke. Look, too bad. Oh. I don't like to had some. I like giving these away because I know they'll sell for the people in the store that I give them to. Well, I'm getting down in here. There's a lot more bottles than what I thought. There's a crown top, and that don't look familiar to me. It looks aqua. Is this a beer? What is this? Oh, this looks nice. It's probably an old Paps Blue Ribbon bottle. Oh, this is nice. This is a day maker, man, folks. I'm on a good spot. Look at this. Yep, Paps, Milwaukee. Oh, that's beautiful. I haven't found one of these for a long time. Not a rare bottle, but if it's perfect, it's worth $20. And then that's nice. Well, look how nice this cleaned up. I think these are absolutely beautiful bottles. I think they're undervalued. Um, that look at the color. I mean, man, you know, I'd say this is from, I'm no bottle expert, so let's get that out of the way. I like digging them. Um, I'd say this is from the 1920s and no newer than 30. You see, it's an old bottle, and it's probably, you know, about 1920, I'd guess. That's just nice. So, a hundred year old find in real nice condition. Put that right in my cabinet in there with my other bottles. See up in there, there's a bottle sticking out right there and it's a nice, easily diggable layer. See, 
I just got a right hole going back in here now, but um, yeah. What's that right there? That's a bulb, look at it. That's a big heavy thing. Yeah, it's actually like a TV tube or something. Radio tube or something, that's cool. But I'll get back. Well, this is a treasure trove of affordable bottles. There'll be lots of these too. That's a cork top lace all. And they're nice little bottles. And you can take these and clean them up and give them away. There's, I find a good many. Look at the base, it's all embossed up. Lysol still a product, so you know that's cool. And you can sell them for two fifty a piece. Have twenty of them in your store, and people will buy them. I give them all away. Uh, we'll give this one to Doug. It'll be in his store here in the future, along with other sizes and ones I dig here. Yeah, that's one of these bird glass bird waters or like feeders for a bird cage, but it's broke. You'll find a lot of them. I found probably a hundred of them in the past five years. And since I found that broken bird like feeder thing there, here's the coolest one I found and it was on that dump the last time I was there, the last run. It says Hendrix on it and it's milk glass. Look at that one, real crude around here. That's old. That's very cool, huh? And these hooked, you know, on the cage bars, you see, of a bird. I don't know how how it hooked if like you put the water in it and they reach you see what i mean that's what that is that's so cool trying to dig that bottle out i think it's just a no good beer but digging it out right there's an acl bottle right there to the tip see it i see acl on it we'll see what that one is now see you can see the red label on it there now it looks like a sun spot maybe that's what them are called we'll see see that's what it was, and that can all be cleaned up. It'll be perfect. These ones have heavy ACL. Yeah, it's hard to believe the drought we're in. Look, this bottle's filled with water that deep underground. That's why them salamanders and stuff are in this dump. There's always moisture. The dumps are kind of good for habitat. But you see what this is? This is an embossed Pepsi, and it's got ACO on it. Let's see how nice it is. Uh, it's kind of messed up. Uh, that stinks well I saw this flash and I thought it was a coin but it's a snap and it's got something on it and I think it's an anchor with a chain so if it is that's going in my military finds case and that's a nice little find nothing crazy but kind of cool yeah I'm glad I saw that that is very cool. Don't have it, and I'll show you why I love it. It's going right in a frame with similar stuff. I've dug on places just like that. All right. Let's get over here and set this down right here on the engraved Indian stain. I got to get that. But right there is one I found previously. See it? I think it's a little different, isn't it? Yeah. Just a tad bit different. A little bit different up in here, but there's another one to get right in my military case with, look at all this stuff, U.S. Navy Spoon, there's an Air Force pilot spoon with numbers, serial numbers on it. Look at all the cool buttons. The Marine pen, that's an M1 letter opener. Dug all this stuff in just like on them dumps that I was on today, and I even got more than this. Cool, huh? Yeah, I'm in a video treasure trove. Look at that. It looks like a little calf. It's a shame. To, it's probably Mark's 1950s. It's a little calf for a playset. Wow. Look at this. It's a shame it's broke. It's vest. What, is, what the heck? I'll have to keep that just for this side. It's a little... What the heck? Oh, it's so billion bubble. Look at this. I just bought one of these in Doug's store. It's a shame. Boy, that's a nice find. And see, it don't matter because it's a screw top. And you, I'll be able to put a new cap on this. That looks like this side. Well, I think it's going to come clean. And this side's perfect. It was laying. This is awesome. I've never seen this. Have you? Look at this, and it's green, and it's embossed vest up here. Well, I was able to save this, 
little red missing right there but I can touch that up you touch it up and you won't even be able to tell just a smoker bottle I found a cap you can't even tell it's broke I'll put a red or a white one on it it'll look much better there's the base that's got staining I'll be able to get all of this off with a toothpick it's gonna come off I didn't work on it because it's gonna take some time but that's a good find it's even embossed vest up there that's a cool bottle and it's crazy I just was in Doug Ann's antique store did an antique store picking video and just within the past seven days bought this bottle from Perkersburg vest I think they're beautiful bottles that look at that to go with mine and you know the one on the little one on the left there I found for free man well we're in here here's a bunch of dump finds I got lots of places like this in my house look at all the little toys and move things around and there's the vest bottle I found all the stuff I dug it's just a nice little piece of mid-century 1950s nostalgia that's a cool bottle if you collect bottles you probably want that one huh it's very eye appealing yeah, there's some pretty decent stuff in here. When have you seen a beer bottle brown mason cap like that? That has to be really rare. Look at the color of it. Wonder what that's off of. Unbelievable, huh? Yeah, it's a shame that little pony beer doesn't say Wheeling, West Virginia, like Schumbach on it. See? What is that? 38? Look at that weird mark. That's a weird bit. Look at that. I might take that. It's kind of a nice looking bottle. Look, see, this is popped out of like the bottom of a McCoy planter. And look, it says McCoy USA and it broke out round like that. I want to take that. Well, you see, this is all I've dug. I moved from the, the older spot over to here. I'm seeing where the marbles go and they're going up this way. Here's another one found two in here in my last trip what is this well it's a hybrid cat eye but it looks damaged it's yeah it would have been nice heck I thought that was a German handmade for a minute man that looks really nice see this is a hybrid cat eye see it's white with baby blue in it that would have been nice but see it's just exploded it's just ruined but I'll find a whole frame, a real nice one there over the next month, I can guarantee it. Too bad on that. Well, just started going over this way. I got my find of the day. I've never seen this. And what's this? Nothing but... All right. Looks like the shovel's all there. It looks like a farm... What is this? It looks old, too. What is this? This is awesome. And it's rubber that's why it's there it's the say it's bend oh this is awesome this is awesome this is one of the coolest figures in a while it's farmer bill he probably had farm animals with him in a little toy barn and this is like the coolest walk figure wow i never seen this if you look the hats all there this is yes well, I hate to say this, but you see this. See, there's uranium glass cup. That would have been nicer stuff everywhere. And I got 150 yards at least in a strip 30 yards wide that should be just as good. I'll just can't start hammering it. But this is enough finds. By the time I clean up this, it'll be long enough for you guys to watch. So I'm going to go. But I'm not leaving. I'm going to continue digging, and then the next day I'll put on more finds in here, and we'll just keep doing it. And I'll look for airheads a little bit, too. I'll see you. We'll get a check on the squirrel. Look here. Mr. Chips is behind bars. Tell him you have stay in the cage because you get into drapes. And look, there's pieces of Buckeyes. Old squirrel man's ate them all. I brought, I don't know, there's maybe, I think there's one up there and one down there, and that's all that's left. Squirrel Man annihilated him and made a mess. We're going out. I see you. I see you, folks. It's a good dump. Nice bottles, huh?